Hi, I'm happy to announce that we're going to start a new series of videos and labs around strong authentication. I got recently some UB keys from corporate and I'm ready to start playing with it and sharing the knowledge with all the community. So some of the things that we're going to be exploring is the ability to use Centrify software with your existing Active Directory PKI and group policies to enforce strong authentication. Not only are we going to be able to do this accessing Unix, Linux, and Mac systems, but I'll show you how to do it when you're enforcing privilege elevation on Windows as well, right? Uh, we're also going to be talking how to use your YubiKeys as an oath authenticator, right? So you can enforce uh, multi-factor authentication access to your you know, web apps or uh, access to the Centrify CPS portal for your sessions and your password management. Let me just quickly show you a video. I have a, uh, an environment here that has Active Directory. I've enabled smart card authentication, right? And uh, it's very simple, right? So when, when, uh, when my user wants to log in, if she wants to log in with a password, uh, notice that we're going to be denied the ability to log in with a password, right? Because we're enforcing uh, strong authentication. I have to type in my uh, my smart card key, which happens to be my UB key that I'm that I have connected to my system. The cool thing about UB keys is, is that they eliminate a lot of the middleware that is that is needed for uh, smart cards to work. And with Centrify software, uh, it makes it a, a basically simple solution that allows you to get that done. For example, Unix access. If you you want to enforce strong authentication, I'm going to do two scenarios. I'm going to try and go to this machine through the console as my user Diana. Notice what's going to happen. I typed in my password and uh, I won't be able to log in. And it's as simple as simply just going ahead and unchecking a box on a direct authorized ro role. As long as you have uh, your infrastructure in place, this is just going to work, right? And one of the things that I like is, you know, with YubiKeys, things just work. With Centrify software, things just work, right? And simplicity is promoted. Another benefit is if I really want access, then, you know, uh, I'm going to have to use not only SSH in this case, right, but strongly authenticated. If I want to do it again, again with a password, what's going to happen is I can't log in. I need to use Kerberos because when I logged in, you know, I got Kerberos and noticed that the user will be able to launch a Kerberos session, right? Another thing that we're going to be doing is showing you how to use in the context of privilege elevation. Direct Authorize works for Windows as well, right? So those Windows roles, you can enforce when somebody launches an application or a desktop write, they, you can actually reprompt for authentication as well. And as long as the driver is set up on Windows, notice that in here, authentication is required for my desktop. I'm a regular user and I want to switch to an administrative uh, uh, desktop. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to be challenged, right? And if I want to do this again with my password, right, where we have a, a war against passwords, right? This is not going to work, right? I'm going to have to go ahead and, and use my, my smart card credential and, and log in. So two use cases, very simple solutions in place, right, using the same technology that you know from Centrify. Another benefit is the ability to onboard really quickly uh, uh, oath, uh, oath tokens. YubiKeys also have like a, you know, like an oath wallet of tokens that you can use. And end users onboard this really quickly. All they need to do is, you know, uh, they, they can go and let me just delete one that I had here earlier. They can go to their portal. Once the policies is, is enabled in uh, Center 5 CPS or CIS, all you need to do is go to actions and, and uh, configure your YubiKey, right? Uh, it's as simple as, you know, either using your Google Authenticator or the Yubico Authenticator, and you can add. And notice, it scans the barcode automatically, and voila, here I have it. I have my code. What's going to happen is, when somebody is going from an insecure location, they're going to be challenged, right? And in order for them to access your sessions or your applications, they're going to have to add to provide an additional factor of authentication. These things are, are very simple. We're going to do some labs, and it's going to cover a strong authentication to Unix, Linux, strong authentication for privilege elevation on Windows. Uh, we're going to do strong authentication for Macs, and then we're going to do strong authentication or you know OTP OTP authentication uh, with our um, uh, IDAS solution or with our password manager and um, a session manager jump box. I'm hoping that this series is, uh, you know, useful for you so you can create your labs and promote how easy things are using Centrify, your still existing PKI, or smart card, or using YubiKeys that make things really simple.